as the 99th richest woman in England, Kate Moss squeezed in enough assignments between July 2006 and July 2007 to pull in more than £9 million. Not bad going for a catwalk veteran of 34, whose career was all but over in 2005 after snaps of her apparently doing cocaine made it onto the front page of a British tabloid. With the police on her tail, Kate fled to France and the modelling contracts with the likes of H&M, Chanel and Burberry dropped like flies. Having pulled through years of speculation about her alleged drug and alcohol abuse, it seems she was finally done for, until a swag of influential friends and colleagues whipped up a groundswell of support. And by the middle of 2006, she was back in everyone's good books and starring in an internet ad for lingerie firm Aja Provocateur. Kate Moss has got something that no one else has got, and, and no one else can find it, and so that's why they use Kate, because she is, she's the best at what she does. The ad's director, Mike Figgis, was equally gushing. Um, without a doubt, she's the best model I've ever worked with, you know, I mean, all you really have to do is get the light right, and then she hears the shutter, and she, every time the shutter goes, she gives you another look. You don't have to ask for it, and then if you ask for something, she'll give you that too. So I'd say she is called a supermodel because actually she is the best supermodel around. She's, she's the best at her job. She is the Schumacher of modeling, you know. That autumn, she made a staggering comeback that netted her 18 top modeling campaigns and the Model of the Year prize at the British Fashion Awards. Even her on and off again relationship with heroin addicted singer Pete Doherty couldn't take the shine off comeback Kate. She started converting her popularity into entrepreneurial opportunities. First came a collaboration with high street fashion chain Topshop. A month later, it was off to Morocco's Marrakesh to launch her own perfume, Kate by Kate Moss. I try to encompass everything that I feel about being a feminine and being a bit rock and roll and a bit edgy and a bit light and a bit dark. 